There's been a movement afoot for quite a while to come up with an open source implementation of Microsoft Office. Uh, it's called OpenOffice and um, some folks have gone and customized that for the Macintosh, pre-compiled it and everything, and they call it NeoOffice. Uh, NeoOffice is pretty much the entire suite that you would expect in Microsoft Office. Uh, the standard here that opens up is, is Writer, the word processor, but we can also create spreadsheets and presentations, even a database like Microsoft Access, things of that nature. Um, as you'd expect, this is a, a document in Neo Office. It's the pre-compiled whatever, right? You get the idea. Again, you can insert tables, pictures, all this kind of stuff. I mean, it works, works really good. Um, when we save, the nice thing about uh, Neo Office is it can save to a lot of different formats. Uh, including Word 6, Word 95, 2000. Um, you can save it to an HTML document. Um, you know, all this stuff works really good. And of course, built into the uh, Apple operating system is the ability to print to PDF. So we can print to PDF, save as PDF, and, and as you can create multi-page PDFs, it's, it works really good. And you can do this from any application that prints. I mean, that's just built into the operating system. Uh, if we go and take a quick look, oops, take a quick look at uh, maybe a spreadsheet. All right, so just like you would expect, one, two, three, four, five, you know, it just does its thing, so. Open Office is uh, yet another opportunity or uh, alternative for uh, non-Windows folks to play nice in a Windows world. There is another alternative that I'm not going to be demonstrating here, and that is web applications. Specifically, Google has uh, their documents, which provide spreadsheets, word processing, and, and presentation. There's a uh, system called Zoho which uh, is a lot prettier and, and more powerful than Google Docs. It, uh, it also works really, really well. And there's more and more every month that come out. Um, so that's, that's another alternative. And finally, the other, other alternative is Microsoft Office for Mac. It's brand new, 2008. There's been several versions ahead of it, but the new one is coming out. And uh, it'll be about 150 bucks for the normal package, which is what you know most most everybody will end up buying. It includes Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, includes PowerPoint, and an email calendaring client called Entourage. Um, Windows folks would know that as Outlook. So I hope uh, if any of you are using Office compatibility as the reason not to switch to a Mac, I hope this uh, is giving you a little bit of insight.